This video is all about weight transfer. I'm in sunny Mallorca to help you understand how you can strike the ball better. I'm going to help you understand why the weight transfer is important, some common faults that I see teaching on the range every day, what a good weight transfer looks like. If you stick around to the end, I'm going to give you some drills that you can take to the range and help you strike the ball better. Why don't we just start with why weight transfer is important? Where your weight is, where your pressure is, is basically the biggest factor in the the low point control of your swing and basically what that means is are you going to fat it and thin it if your low point is back that means you are going to fat the ball unless you lift the club up and in which case you're going to thin the ball you basically can't flush an iron on the ground an iron a wedge a hybrid a three wood when the ball's sat on the ground you need your low point ahead of the ball in order to strike it properly it is fact you just cannot do it any other way oh, i've lost my train of thought quite nice in the sun though good to be in mallorca isn't it if low point determines the strike and the weight transfer is the biggest contributing factor towards your low point then we must get this right let's just start with like what does bad weight transfer look like and there's, there's two main things i see if people get this wrong the first thing is people just not ever getting their weight forwards and hanging back turn up to the top the weight moves to the right and then as they swing down the weight never moves off the right and that means all things being equal i'm going to hit the ball about four inches behind the ball so in order to avoid doing that i'm either going to pull across it or i'm going to pull my arms in and that's where you end up with people with chicken wings and um, narrow follow-throughs fat thins and slices all the stuff we're trying to avoid the other common error i see in people's weight transfers is a reverse pivot so what that means is a swing where on the back swing they lean too far left and then as a result of that they then lean back on the way through that's basically the exact opposite of what we should be doing i don't even know how you end up there but i see it quite a lot and again you're just going to fat it thin it top it you're never going to be a good player if you do that so if you're that person you need to recognize that you need to get a camera set up face on and you need to see are you going forwards then backwards and if you are, then we, we have to stop that straight away. Now, what we do know, a tour player, when they strike the ball, they're getting 80 to 90% of their weight on their front foot. That's what we're trying to achieve. The average amateur golfer is probably more like 50-50 or even further back than that, which is why tour players are tour players and amateur golfers are rubbish. So what we've got to do is we have to understand that our goal in the swing is to get our body in a position where our weight is 80 to 90 percent on our front foot our, our trail foot is just really there for support we're not doing anything with it there's a few different ways we can do this and some controversial and some less controversial it might be an idea that some people have where they go okay well if i know that i need to get 90 percent of my weight forwards why don't i just start with 90 percent of my weight forwards now that is not a bad idea it's not as bad as people think people get pretty triggered about that as a as a swing thought but i don't particularly mind it because generally that person if they manage to keep their weight forwards they're going to strike the ball first and they're going to hit it from the inside they might not be the most powerful player ever because a big part of our creating speed is moving the mass back and then through to generate momentum but if you really struggle with strike and um, then just starting left staying left and finishing left is not a bad idea and it's certainly not some, a bad thing to practice if you're a person who sways off and then swings down oh hey you're still here thank you so most of you guys watching this are not subscribers and although the few subscribers that are watching this thank you very much for being here i could really do with the help if you subscribe like and comment even if you think i'm stupid that really boosts the engagement and helps get this video out to more people and helps me grow so anything you can do to help that'd be great thanks in a perfect world perfect weight transfer what would happen is a golfer would start their swing and as the as the club moves away there would be a shift to the right we do want the pressure to move into that back foot in the first half of the back swing but actually the weight transfer forwards should start as my lead arm gets to parallel with the ground and then from this position as i continue to move my arms back and turn my body i actually now i'm starting to move my weight left and i'm really starting to feel like i'm getting 70 to 80 percent of the weight moving forwards as i transition that is really early for what compared to what most people think a lot of people will just turn back finish the back swing with the weight on the right foot and then do their best to get their weight forwards on the way down but that just isn't going to work i'm afraid 
the downswing only lasts 0.2 seconds or maybe even less than that and if you've got 60 to 70 percent of your weight on your back foot and you've got to get to 80 to 90 percent on the front foot then that is an absolutely enormous shift to do whilst you're also trying to do everything else that you've got to do what i suggest is for the definitely for the average golfer for the mid handicapper we've got to start our shift forwards much earlier like i say i like to sort of think that the weight shift to the front foot starts as the left arm gets parallel to the ground and as i'm rounding off i'm actually moving forwards and then from here because my momentum's moving in that direction i'm going to continue that shift forwards and i'm able to then just turn through if we want an early shift right we start to recenter and then we're pushing forward all the way down most people will now say to me stuff like but shouldn't i just be turning and yes there will be some rotation in the downswing but i've never met a golfer who doesn't turn particularly you know it's one of the things you learn right from the very beginning your first session your first lesson the pro tells you to turn back and turn through so we have that in our dna and, and is an idea that we need to do what people don't get taught early enough is early shift forwards and then turn through efficient on the front foot and if we did learn that then we wouldn't have this pandemic of low points behind the balls rubbish strikes fat and thin shots and weak slices i wouldn't worry about not turning i just want people thinking about shifting we we definitely we, we want to get into a position where our front shoulder and front hip are well ahead of the ball because that's generally where the bottom of our swing is going to be shift right shift left up finish on my front foot that was pretty good my demonstrations are becoming like absolutely excellent perfect swing shift right shift left finish on my front foot shift right shift left finish on my front foot i'm definitely not against someone just starting on the left side starting on the front foot and staying there you just have to make sure that if you're that person and you're sort of setting up with 70 percent of your weight forwards you're swinging them to the top you're staying 70 percent on your weight forwards you've got to make sure that from the top you're still pushing forwards and finishing 90 to 100 percent of your weight forwards the danger for someone who thinks they're just going to start left stay left and finish left is they turn into a reverse pivoter and that would be bad so it's if you're going to start left and stay left which is fine you've just got to make sure that you continue to push off left not become a reverse pivoter that was pretty good as well i might start doing that so drills we love a drill i love a drill um weight transfer is a great one to to work on this so there's two drills i really like the first one is you're going to address the ball then you're actually going to move your weight to your back foot and you're going to address the ball with 80 70 to 80 to 90 percent of your weight on your back foot and what you can do is as you swing back you're going to shift forwards and then hit the ball finishing in a good position so this is going to force you to really move forwards and finish left so we start on our back foot like this swing back lean forwards and swing through uh, that's a really difficult one it's a great drill a person who's constantly finishing on their back foot if they start on their back foot you start to get a feel for oh my god i really do need to move forwards and if i'm going to get forwards i've got to start moving forwards early so eight percent on my right foot as i swing back move to my left and then finish finish left yeah that was good the second drill i like is the gary player drill the gary player walkthrough and this is one where you're going to swing back swing down and step through as soon as you've made contact you want your trail foot coming off the ground and stepping through as soon as you make contact with the ball gary player was like just a little lad five foot six weighed nothing and he could send it he, you know he hit the ball really really well really far and that's because he would drive his weight throw his entire body forwards to the point where sometimes he would momentum would carry him through and this is a great drill for for amateur players so we're going to go back hit and through oh flushed it that was real nice i'll demonstrate that one again swing back make contact step through and by doing this you're forcing your weight forwards you're going to force your low point ahead of the ball yeah those are my drills if you're not a great ball striker this is what you need to go work on key points are we're getting our shoulder on our hip ahead of the ball two three inches ahead of the ball we need to get our low point forwards if we want to strike the ball first hit the ball high hit it with a draw it all comes down to your weight transfer so this video is a follow-on video from all the other sort of technique tips series that i've been doing so if you've not watched the setup the grip the takeaway the backswing the transition videos 
be sure to go check those out. Um, I'm pretty sure there's some good stuff in there that will uh, help you improve your games.